everybody, Coach Jorge here with my gals, and I want to show you today's video lesson. It's going to be with just racket skills, hand skills, soft hands. It's really a, a general category. And I'm going to show you, it came, a question came like, how do I develop soft hands or better racket skills? So we're not going to even hit balls. I'm going to just show you some of the exercises that we do that can help you with your hand-eye coordination and also developing some soft hands. So uh, the first thing we're going to do, guys, is I want you to just have one ball. And um, we're going to do a thing we call the elevator. So I want you to kind of lift the ball up. And then woo, woo, we're going to just drop the, the thing out. The whole thing here is you don't want the, the balls to leave the string. So you just elevate it as if, or like the demon drop at that park where you just like boom. Okay. This ability to give and still have the ball in there is the first step. So now, guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, before it was just that, now I'm going to lift it up and then I'm going to try to catch it on the descend. And the goal is once I catch it, I don't want it to bounce. I just want it to be completely flat. So watch what I do. I lift it up about a foot and I notice that I'm catching it about waist high, but then I, I, I absorb it all the way down to the ground. So I'm learning some hand-eye skills. In this particular one, I'm learning how to take power off the ball. Okay, and absorb power. Now the next thing we can do, guys, is let's add three balls here. This is going to be both in the area of racket control as well as soft hands. Here's what you're trying to do. And you really have to have soft hands. Um, I'm going to try to lift these three balls in the air, flip my racket, and catch them on the other side. So let me see if I can pull it off once. Yes, I did it for all three. But notice how low I got. Here's what most people, especially if they don't have soft hands, they kind of look like hands of stone. They go like this. And the balls just go flying because they don't have that give. Okay. So go ahead and try that. You're going to fail a few times for sure, probably. Not bad, you got two out of three burnt. Okay, good. Notice what I'm doing here, a little trick. If I can gather them all like that, that's going to be better for me. Watch how little I throw it up in the air. Watch. Yeah, all the way down. Close. I organize the balls on my strings. I throw it up, and ooh, I got all three. So this is just yet another exercise for soft hands. Um, one other exercise, Carly, I'll do it with you. Uh, I'm going to show you a series of these. Let's get rid of um, all your tennis balls, baby. You just need, I'm going to have two. Okay. So you're going to just get like one inch away, or like, sorry, more like one foot. I'm just going to pass these up to you. You're going to try to get them. Okay. So you pass them very lightly, and I have it's like that. Yep. So now we're doing it with a partner. I can go here. Okay, just a little lift. Okay, Coach Marty, we're getting you involved. All right, here we go. I throw them to you. Nice, she has nice control. You throw them to Carly. And the challenge here, oh, that was a handoff, basically. <laughs> you can laugh, guys. All right, so watch. If we get a little bit better at it, we'll get further away. So now it's more like this. And Marty, nice recovery. So the higher it gets up in the air, the more challenging it is, the more you have to learn to give. Uh, okay, give me a nice high one, Car. Whoa, I got them. Okay, so we can do all kinds of stuff. I'm going to show you a couple more uh, without a racket. So this is more hand-eye coordination. Get rid of your racket. Um, the first thing I want you to do, guys, is notice this. I'm going to hold the balls like this. Whoa. And I'm going to drop them. And then let me explain. Uh, without using my body, i got to catch all three balls. So the best way to do it is they come up, I'm going to snag two of the balls on the rise with my palms down, and then that last one will go up in the air and I'll catch that basket wise. So let me see if I can pull this off. There's two on the rise, there's the basket. Watch it again. There's two on the rise, there's the basket. Okay. So you have to drop them just a certain way. Oh, Marty has... Uh, yeah, grab the first two with your palms down, I think is the best tip. Grab two on the way. Yeah, then that gives you a chance. So let's do a slow motion here, see if I can. Okay, so that's the trick. Now, let's do another little trick. Let's call this is called lava ball. That ball in the middle, uh, you can't touch it. So I'm just going to squeeze it. I'm going to throw it up in the air. Watch what I do. After it bounces, I try to squeeze it back. I missed. I try to squeeze it back between those two balls. Up in the air, squeeze it between the balls. Up in the air. 
So these are not only hand-eye coordination, you can do it for cool down in certain classes, like a cardio class. Also just a fun competition you can do with, you know, at the end of a class with a bunch of friends. Uh, guys, let's try to put the ultimate one. This will be how we finish. This one's gonna be incorporate those last two things. <laughs> Did you mess up it? Did you get a body catch? Okay, we're gonna snag those two on the, ri on the rise again. That third one that goes up, I'm gonna try to pinch it. Mm -hmm. So we're putting those last two drills. I mean, it takes a while, so watch. I'm gonna snag, pinch. Oh, I did it. I hardly ever get to do it. I'm not gonna film anymore. All right, so this is probably the toughest one. Not bad, Marty's all tense. I can see her muscles. Relax, you guys. Carly is just whipping them down on the ground. I like to have the balls come up about maybe chin high. So watch it again, snag those two. And I didn't quite get it. I cheated because I caught it in my hand. So there you have it, guys. A whole bunch of little things. Did you get it, babe? Yeah. You rock. Uh, a whole bunch of little games, hand-eye coordination skills you can do, racket skills. I uh, hope that's helpful to you. So if you're watching this video, anywhere, uh, our two websites are one for coaches, which is tennisdrills.tv. Also, we have the free coaches uh, or free site for players, which is jorgecapistani.com, just my name. Uh, you might want to check that out if you're not there because that has all kinds of free uh, instruction on all kinds of topics, 100% free on that site. Also, you can see the best players in the world, Federer and stuff, doing their super slow motion shots. And if you are watching this video on that site, JorgeCapistan.com, I encourage you, please scroll down, leave us a message, give us a comment one way or the other. We'd love to hear from you. I read all the comments and I'll respond to them if you have a question. So good luck to you on the court and have fun with these little games.